stop. Hot off the press, and just in time for the 150th anniversary of the end of the American Civil War. Recoloration Proclamation, a John Sims project. We have a very interesting idea that many of the artists, on, white artists on this uh, CD who have appropriated, have used, have identified with black musical culture, right? And then be able to play in, the, in those forms and styles this very, very controversial uh, white identified song, Dixie. And so it's a flip flip type thing. So in some ways this kind of music therapy means uh, critical issues around race and um, culture and also move into this, this space of music appreciation. There's just so much cr incredible talent, music talent down here in Sarasota. Um, I think this project will be able to bring some light to that. For me, it was important to do Dixie in a gospel rendition uh, because gospel is one of the uniquely American forms of music as well as is, is unique to the African-American experience. Mississippi, whenever I would see the flag or hear the song Dixie, it always resonated um, a sense of um, failure in my heritage and um, kind of sadness. And um, I'm tremendously uh, hopeful and happy with the idea that John Sims has with this project. And of course, I wanted to be a part of it. Uh, this can be a very uh, touchy subject for some because it, it's, you know, part of their roots and their culture and they, the importance of John's statement. And that is something I think is, you know, worth listening to. You can take a song and reappropriate it, disarm it by dressing it in a choir robe and making it sing gospel, it's a really interesting thing. You know, you have, you have the, the robes of the Ku Klux Klan and you have the robes of the gospel choir. So for this project, the thought that a symbol is only a symbol if we all agree on it, you know, and repurposing symbols to mean something else than it did to a culture before us. We're still striving to become a more perfect union, a better version of ourselves. And hopefully in 50 years, we'll, we'll be an even better version of ourselves than we are today.